Our next guest will be able to offer some perspective on that story. Harlan Cohen is the author of the number one college guide, The Naked Roommate. And you've got some very interesting things in here. You talk about the 107 issues you might run into in college, one of them being how the social networking sites are kind of impacting the college students. Yeah, and parents have to be really careful because their kids might want to be their friends, and a kid might see what their parents are doing. Ooh. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of parents are, who are As opposed up to, to the no, other way around, right? No good, right? I'm like, parents. Parents, keep that wall. Don't let your kids see what's going on. On the other side, there may be some parents who say, hey, you know, Facebook, I should be on this. I want to be my kid's friend. And it's like the equivalent of saying you want to go to the mall and hang out with your kid and hang out with their friends and chat A with them. A little too close. You could go to the mall and you can both be at the mall, but don't hang out with them. It's like you could stand far away and observe. And that's really the best way for a parent to use this. It's fantastic because kids can see what's happening in their lives of their family and friends, but you also have to have those limits. You know, and definitely. The, the kids want to stay connected. I know in the book you talk about homesickness, and I was surprised at how high the statistic is that, what was it, 63 yeah. percent are really, really homesick when they go away. So you do have to stay connected somehow. And this is the problem. You have a parent who doesn't really know that two-thirds of students report feeling homesick. So then they become Facebook friends with their kid. You see their kids having a rough time. The parent has a knee-jerk reaction. What's wrong? You know, I need to get my kid out of there. Something's wrong. Well, the naked roommate's great because it gives a parent a baseline of what's normal. So instead of wanting to fix that situation, you as a parent could see, okay, here's that homesickness thing happening. Where are the resources, support services, people at places on campus I, I could maybe suggest my kid, uh, you know, go to and, and meet and get involved with. You talk about so many great issues that, that face kids when they go away to college. Yep. You know, it's like it, it, it's so difficult to choose the college. And then you get there and you've got friends, you've got finances, you've got the pressure of drinking to drink, to not to drink. And you go through all of this in a funny way, I think, that helps kids stay connected, you know, hangover tips, but yet also tips on how to spot if you're an alcoholic. Yeah, you know, if, if, if I say if you spill beer on your computer while doing your social networking, that's bad. That's probably, or if you're using it as a coaster. But really, I'd say the overall theme is, you know, college is 90% amazing, 10% difficult, and it's really easy when that 10% rears its ugly head to get involved with alcohol or drugs or to do something that's unhealthy, but in the book, you really get a sense of, how can I get comfortable with the uncomfortable? And parents can also use this as a tool to interact with their student. And that's what I was just going to say. I think that even though all of these tips are really aimed at the student, I think it's good reading for the parent to sort of figure out what their child yeah. is going through. Yes, we remember college, but it's not the same these days. Parents are freaking out, and this is really a way to calm them. Do you know today's parents are the worst behaved parents? You know, when they look at bad stats of poor behavior, <laughs> yes. it's the parents of the early 80s who they compare this to. So for them, it really calms their nerves, and for students, it totally helps them. There's a website also and a newsletter at nakedroommate.com.